I'm just gonna be using that same beauty sponge to sponge. I'm just gonna be using that same beauty sponge. Oh my gosh, if I say sponge one more time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have for you is my simple and quick everyday summer makeup routine. I say every day. I don't wear makeup every day in the summer, but when I do go out, run errands, whatever, wanna look a little put together. This is the makeup look I do. It's super lightweight and breathable because it does get hot in the summer, we all know that. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I recently posted a everyday summer morning routine and I, I didn't include my full makeup routine. I showed me doing my makeup, but I said I'm gonna come up with a makeup routine soon and here I am. I miss you guys. Thank you for sticking with me and bearing with me through these past couple weeks and month of not posting very much. I'm not very proud of that, but life gets crazy. We all know that. And the most important thing is that I'm here now. So I'm super excited. I'm just gonna jump right into this and just explain how I do my everyday makeup. Okay, first things first, I want to explain that my nails are horrible. I know, please don't tell me. I know they're horrible. I'm gonna be getting them done soon, so don't worry about that. And second, don't mind my friends on my face. They're just popping up this time of month. So gotta cover those up. That's what makeup's for, right? So to start off my makeup, first I'm going to be priming. Primer is so important in the summertime especially. So I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Prime Time. This is the original primer. I don't use the same primer every day. I kind of just switch back and forth between a couple different ones. But today this is the one I decided to wear. I really like it. So, yep. So then I go in with my second primer and I do use this one every day. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I just put this around my mouth and like my under eye area because I feel like this one prevents creasing more. This is like more like a filler, like a pore filler. So I really like this one because I tend to get like those creases in my makeup around my mouth and stuff like that. So this definitely helps. The trick with this primer is obviously a little goes a long way but you really wanna warm it up between your fingers before applying it to your face or else it'll just be really slick and your foundation will slide right off of it. Okay, so now that we're all primed and ready, I'm going to be going in with some CC cream and this is the Neutrogena, this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfector. This is just like a lightweight CC cream and I'm in the color light and it has some SPF in it, I'm pretty sure. Has salicylic acid. So yeah, it just looks like that. I prefer more lightweight products on my skin during the summer. If I am going out or like need extra coverage for something, I will mix this with a foundation. But just for a day today, I just like using this. To apply this, I'm just gonna be using this makeup sponge. I just got this from like Nordstrom Rack, so I really don't know what brand it is, but I like it and it's cute. So just gonna be using any makeup sponge. I like using this CC cream in the summer because I tend to break out more when I sweat a lot. So I think this like counteracts that a little bit with the salicylic acid. Now that my base is on, I'm going to be going in with a concealer and recently I've been using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the color Warm. I'm just going to be using that same beauty sponge to blend out my concealer. Okay, so next for me is powder, and first I'm actually going to be baking my under eyes. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Translucent Loose Powder. This is just in the color light. So I'm going to be using this under my eyes and around my mouth area. Everywhere else where I didn't apply that loose powder, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Powder, and mine is just in the color Fairly Medium. 
And as always, I'm going to be using my trusty e.l.f. powder brush. I love this thing, honestly, guys. If you like dense powder brushes for like foundation powder and stuff like that, for anything, get this because this stuff, this brush is so good <laughs> and it's so cheap. I love it. Since I don't use a full coverage foundation first thing, I like to make up for the extra coverage by using a foundation powder. And I prefer full coverage powders anyway over like creams because I just think for my skin type and my textured skin, it just makes it look a lot more sleek and natural and flatter and stuff like that. Now that we have our base done with our foundation and powder and all that, I'm quickly going to be uh, using some setting spray on that. I'm just going to be doing using the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist. So now I'm going to be doing my brows real quick off camera. If you guys want an updated everyday brow routine, please give this video a thumbs up and I will do that for you. Okay, so I'm back. Now that my beautiful brows are on, I'm going to be moving on to the eye look. And I don't even know if I should call it an eye look because it's so ridiculously simple. All I do is take some of my bronzer. So today I'm going to be using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and just a fluffy brush like so. I'm just going to be using the It Cosmetics blending brush. The label wore off, but it just looks like that. Just whatever fluffy blending brush you have. And I'm just going to be taking some of my bronzer and just fluffing out in the crease so messily. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just something to give some definition and a little bit of color in my eyes. Next, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of brown eyeliner, just a brown pencil eyeliner. This is just one I have from NYX. And I'm just going to be smudging a little bit on my upper lash line. Next for my mascara, I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I like to use waterproof in the summer whenever I can because you never know, honestly, when you're going to go swimming or whatever you're going to do when it's hot and the last thing you want is your mascara running. So I tend to stick to waterproof mascara, obviously depending on what I'm doing. If I know I'm just going out, then that's whatever, but I really love this one. It's super waterproof. So that is it for the eye look. It's super simple and fresh. Next, I'm going to be finishing up my face with some mascara. I'm going to be going back into that Cheek Parade palette and using my Hoola bronzer. And I'm going to be mixing both the Hoola bronzer and the Hoola light. And I'm just going to be applying that with this big fan brush by Sephora. Just, you know, in the regular spots you bronze. Kind of highlighting, not highlighting, kind of contouring with this brush just a little bit. Next for my blush, I'm just going to be using the NARS Orgasm Blush. I love this blush. If you have not tried it, oh, if you have not tried it, you definitely should. It's a perfect everyday blush because it has a little bit of shimmer in it. So I especially like that for the summertime, like a little bit of gold reflection in your blush. And the last thing I do for the face, um, lately for my highlighter, I've been using the Max, the Max. Where do I get these words from? Lately, I've just been using the Mac Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It's just this beautiful highlighting powder, I guess. Oh, it's broken, so I try to get it out carefully. But again, I just got this from Nordstrom Rack for like super cheap and I really love it. So gotta love it. For that, I'm gonna be using my It Cosmetics Tiny Fan Brush like I always do. I've said this before, but I'm not super into like very blinding highlight. Like I appreciate it on other people, but not for myself, just because I do have more textured skin. I feel like it brings it out more, but this one I really love because it's like definitely noticeable, but it's more natural. Okay, and lastly for lips, it varies what I do for my lips every day. Sometimes I'll just do a gloss, sometimes I'll just do a natural lipstick, sometimes nothing or just chapstick or whatever. But today I'm gonna be using the Lipstick Queen Saint Bright Natural Lipstick. It's just like more sheer, natural everyday lipstick.
And for the summertime, I prefer lipsticks with more of a glossy or shimmery finish rather than a matte one. I really like this one because it's super natural. Now I'll just be setting it, of course, with the Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. Okay, you guys, so that concludes this quick and simple everyday summer makeup routine. This is just what I do when I want to throw on some makeup, if I'm going out, whatever I'm doing, They're not super fancy, very easy, very natural and glowy. I love like the glowy bronze look in the summer as everyone else does. And I hope you found it helpful in any sort of way. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I am back in the swing of things with the video making. And I know I've said that before, but this time's for real. So if you have any suggestions or comments or whatever, any sort of helpful hints you want me to know for my channel, please let me know. I love to take some suggestions and stuff like that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you ring my notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever I post a new video, which should be a lot more regularly. Hopefully you like seeing my face because you're going to see it a lot more. So yes, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!